everybody um, today I have a little haul for you guys so I went to the mall and um, I kind of shop everywhere so the things that I purchased some of them are from Sephora some of them are from Mac and stuff like that so just really random and I put everything in this little Sephora egg um, okay first I got this two skincare products from Sephora um, one is this waterproof eye makeup remover um, the other one is this refreshing toner um, this is actually the first time that I purchase skincare products from um, Sephora brand because I rarely hear anybody talks about them but um, you know they are really inexpensive so I just decided to give them a try um, and you know I use a lot of eye makeup remover and toner so I can finish them anyways so yeah and then from MAC I got I got two mascaras one is the very famous zoom lash and the other one is called mascara X so both of them are in black as you guys know I'm not a big fan of mascaras but, um, you know, like lately, I just purchased a lot of natural um, false lashes, like the Princess Lee Cross 7, stuff like that. They, like, the hairs of those natural falses are really, really fine and thin. Um, so in daily life, it's okay. Like, you look pretty, pretty good and pretty natural. But when you're taking pictures, I just felt like, you know, you can barely see you're wearing false lashes. So, like, whenever I want to take pictures, I just put on some mascaras and I found like I can get a better result. So I just got them. Zoom Lash is, looks like this. I think like a lot of you guys have already tried this. And... Mascara X looks like this, still in the plastic wrap. Um, I don't know. I just found the packaging is really cute. It looks like, it looks a lot like a longer bullet, where the longer version of the Mac lipstick. So, I just got it. I hope that I can use them more often. Like I used to purchase a lot of mascaras, but like I I never use them. I always well, I wear false lashes only so whenever I thought oh I should use my mascaras and they're dried already <laughs> so that's a huge waste I would just try my best to wear them more and then I got this um, Dazzle Glass in like Venus can you see it um, it's like this pretty bubble gum pink with um, silver or gold glitters in it so really really pretty this watch is here and it reminds me a lot of the Lancome Juicy Tube Jelly in Miracle so yeah I really like this kind of Barbie pink with um, glitters in it it just like it matches every kind of look so yeah and I also got this uh, Chanel ultra correction restructuring anti wrinkle firming eye cream this is actually my second jar so look at the packaging it is glass it, it is not those kind of plastic plastic container and it's really elegant I really like Chanel skincare packaging so it also comes with this handy um, spoon in it so whenever you use your eye cream or your face cream or moisturizer never use your finger to scoop your um, product just always use this to make it clean so this is my first jar as you can see I'm almost done with it so I really like it so you guys might be curious about like oh do you really need those kind of anti wrinkle or firming eye creams um, actually this one is not like those very nourishing and very greasy products 
um, the texture is kind of light so when you use it you just need tiny amount and then tap it on your eye area so it can be completely absorbed in instead of those oil thingy just floating on your face that's really gross don't get me wrong but everybody has their own preferences like I personally prefer using those eye creams for like much older than my real age but you know I just like I always focus on the preventing thing instead of you know like when it has already appeared you can really you can barely get rid of it right and last but not the least I got this shoe Imura high performance balancing cleansing oil fresh I think in Japan they call it Sakura um, cleansing oil because Shuimura have a whole line of cleansing oils like the green one they call it green tea cleansing oil and this one is called this this is pink so they call it Sakura um, the reason why I got this I don't know if you still remember my DHC cleaning oil cleansing oil it's called mild touch cleansing oil and um, I don't I don't remember when but like in my previous video I talk about the packaging it's just pink with a lot of lace thing and so princessy so I have already tried this for three or four times I don't like it at all it's just like oh my gosh the smell is awful like Whenever I go to cleansing oils, I have to make sure the scent is pleasant at, at least. But this one smells like, it smells like, I cannot describe it, but it's just so weird. And also the emulsification effect is not that good. So I haven't tried this one yet, but like a couple of years before, I tried the green tea one. I mean in the green bottle. And that one emulsification is just amazing. You just like when you add a little bit of water after you rub it in, you will feel like your face is perfectly clean. But this one, even I rinse it off with like running water, I still feel the greasiness on, on my face. So I don't recommend this. And I got the huge bottle, the 440. 450 milliliter so yeah that's basically it I hope you guys like my haul and um, I will talk to you guys later